What's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and today as you can see um, I have a lot of phone cases for the new iPhone 12 lineup. So there are cases here for every single device that was announced the other day. So we have cases for the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the iPhone 12 Mini. Um, I have a couple of dummies that I can fit some of these to, but as you can see here, they are only the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, I don't have a model for the mini and I don't have one for the regular pro. So we're going to look at these. These are all sent to us for the channel to show off from Subcase. So shout out to them. I had no clue they were going to send this many. Um, basically this shows all their styles or most of their styles they're going to make for the iPhone 12, but all the colors as well. So I'm going to try to figure out how to give some of these away. So maybe leave some comments down below if you plan on getting the phone, which version, and I'll try to find a way to get some to you guys. I won't be doing any kind of like a giveaway. I'm just going to try to give some out because there's no reason for me to have this many. And that's kind of what Subcase let me know is that they, they kind of, um, want me to use this as an opportunity to give to you guys. So we're going to look through these as, as sort of as quick as we can. Um, a lot of them are going to be the same, but just different color models. So we're going to start down low here with this beast of a case. Um, this is the, and I'm going to pull it up so I have the right info here. This is the Unicorn Beetle Pro Max. So this is their most protective and biggest case. It comes with this belt clip. Um, that kind of is detachable so you can pull it out like this and it has a built-in screen protector so all of these ones um, have an all-around design so you can see even the charging port is covered up um, this is like your maximum protection if you want it um, there's flaps over the charging port and over the mute rocker and we're going to open this up so you can see all these have like a corner disassembly section. I have trouble sometimes with these kind, um, not even that it's the case manufacturer, just you're not meant to take these on and off too often, but you know, it kind of separates. So there's a piece of foam in there and another protective layer and it has that dot matrix, which is always good. If you can see it on camera, I'm not sure, but to keep it from rainbowing and then you're just going to pop the case in or sorry, pop the phone in fits perfectly, even though it's a model, sometimes dummies aren't flawless. So if you see anything that fits kind of strange, rest assured their real lineup will fit perfect. Sometimes the dummies, they come out a little early and the specs are a tiny bit off, but this seems to be just perfect. So you snap it and kind of hug it all the way around and that feels really nice. Um, this is a huge phone, so you're kind of adding some onto that nice cutout there. The screen doesn't work because it's a dummy, but, and then it has this sort of kickstand feature on all of these. You kind of put your nail in there and pull it down really easy to pop out. So on their website, they actually show somebody holding it like this. So you can kind of use it as like a pop socket type of feature, but also it's, it's a kickstand too. So you can lay it down just like, I just dropped it too hard, but you can lay it down just like that. And it stands up just fine. Hard to see. Cause I wanted to keep all these in shot, but so this is the unicorn beetle pro. Um, and they have one for every style or every phone. So here is a black one for the Pro Max. The one that I was just using is like a hunter green. They have a red and they're all plastic. They're not, they're not metal, even though they're metallic looking and they all have this big belt clip. Like if you want to have that on your side and then you kind of snap that in. So there's black, green, red, here's a blue. We have like a purple and we have, this is actually, oh, it's the same one for this, but this is the, this is for the, um, iPhone 12. I think this, these ones might be for the mini. Let's see. No, these are for the iPhone 12. So same thing. Um, and we have the model. I'm not going to put this one, the dummy in these because we just saw that it's the same model. So you can see these are for the 12. Um, because of their size, they're a little bit one down. So they sent me these four colors. So red, purple, blue, and black. So I guess with these, like comment down below what 
style you want um, and what phone you plan on getting or if you do get one maybe we'll wait till the phones are a little bit launched and then I can start reaching out to people and then we have the minis here so the minis actually are pretty reasonable um, very small in the hand but like a nice chunky case so sometimes what's good is if you have a small phone um, a chunkier case is not a bad thing in my opinion because it adds a little bit of thickness and, and grip to it which is a good thing so we have, those are all Unicorn Beetle Pro. This is like their top, top, like protective. I'm gonna go probably work on a work site or camping and I just don't wanna get the phone messed up. The only real entry point on these are the two speaker grill holes and the microphone and then obviously the camera, but the rest is all covered up in the screen. So that's the Unicorn Beetle Pro. We'll move on while I'm taking this out, grab some of these others. So there's a couple that they only sent me um, a couple of models on that is like their wallet style case. So we'll do that one next. We'll make sure we have the right name for that one. Grab a couple of those. So these are the um, Unicorn Beetle Vault. So it's called Vault because obviously it shows the section here where you can put some cards in. So you slide a couple of cards in here and we'll get some, make sure some info on that. I think it holds at least two. Um, this one, so made out of TPU material, so it's that nice flexible rubber. It safely stores two cards with a finger slot. So usually these hold about two to three max. Um, if you have like a smaller, like an insurance card or something, and those look, those look pretty slick. They're nice and thin still. Um, I don't think that this phone, oh no it is. Okay, so this one's for the iPhone 12. So you can see nice cutouts, looks really nice. So when you put your cards in here, you push up with the thumb slot here. So there's people who exclusively use wallet cases. I use them on and off, it just kind of depends on what I'm doing um, and if I don't want to bring extra stuff with me. And then I think this is for the 12. Pro Max, yes, so nice, same thing, cutouts. Obviously all cases like this are gonna have the right cutouts. These kind ports and everything at the bottom are open. Um, nice clicky buttons. The volume rockers are exposed, which they're fine if they're exposed, you know, you're not going scuba diving with these. Um, these ones, they have kind of like that faux um, carbon fiber look to them. These look pretty cool and they actually feel really good in the hand. I love this year that the phones are squared off on the edges because they're going to be much, much easier to grip and hold. The current iPhones are so slippery because they're almost like the edges of a bar of soap. You can grab them with cases. They're okay, but without a case, you can grab them and kind of like do that slide motion with them. I'm excited to see this year how they feel. Cause even these dummies, although they're not legitimate iPhones like this, this squared off feel is going to be awesome. So that is the Unicorn Beetle Vault. So those are pretty cool. Check those out. I'm going to leave links to everything down below, but like I said, I'm also going to give some of these out. The next one we'll do here, let's see, there's a couple of different styles that have the line pattern and then ones that do not. So I think those are in the same class. Okay, so there's lines with screen protectors and then there's ones without any at all. These are without any at all. I thought I had these more organized. So these have lines and protectors, nothing. Okay, so we have a couple of styles left basically. Um, the first one we'll do, this is the Unicorn Beetle XO with a built-in screen protector. So these ones, um, they have this line pattern to them all the way. So it's like a clear plastic, which is like these stylized things, but these also have that front screen protector built in. So you actually pull this out. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these kind. I never have been. I get why people use them, why they want built in screen protectors. Um, so these kind, same thing, you pop it in and then you kind of snap it all the way around. They're very easy to put on for the most part. These one, these sub cases are much easier than other brands that I've tried where you kind of mess, mess them up. That that's, I mean, I'm done. That's way easier than a lot of the ones. And it looks so cool through the back like that. Um, that's not my favorite color, but I love red and black and black on black. So these ones they sent me, we have that like seafoam green looking color. And then we have this red, which is super slick. We have this purple, which looks really nice. And then we have this black, which looks really, really nice. I like the black. Um, so 
There's those. These ones that they sent me are all for the Pro Max, and then I have their little, little baby brothers. Um, these are for the minis, and I don't have a model for the minis, but you can tell these are just tiny in comparison. Um, they're way different in size, so those are really cool. Um, again, though, like a chunkier little chunky case like this is perfect for a tiny phone. So I'm interested to see how the mini feels. If I get a hold of that one, I'm not sure which one I will get or what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of wait until more information comes out. But same thing with these, you have the black, you have the red, you have the purple and the green. Um, and again, these have built-in screen protectors. So now on the other side of that, they have that exact design and style, but without the built-in screen protector. So. We have a nice deep blue, which is one of the new iPhone colors. We have a black, we have a red, and we have a purple. These are just normal like TPU and plastic cases. So for these ones, take this Pro Max dummy on here. Nice and easy to remove, which is great. These ones just are going to be a regular case. So they snap in, nothing built in on the front. And again, the dummies don't always fit perfect. That looks pretty good though. Um, I love that look, the all black stealthiness. And again, nice clicky buttons. Everything is in, um, everything is accessible. They even have lanyard holes on most of these, which I'll never use, but some people like those. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the, let's see. So the first one was the UBXO with screen protector. This is just the UBXO, just normal. So they're the same price, they're both, the exact same price whether you get the built-in or not. I think it's just personal preference. But remember with the built-in screen protector, you have the dot matrix, which keeps it from doing that rainbow effect, which is super critical. Um, you'll know if you ever get a case or a screen protector that doesn't have the dot matrix because your screen will look terrible. So that's those ones looking good. Really like the way that those look. I love clear cases with accents like that. The next and last style that we have is just the UB Edge, so Unicorn Beetle Edge. These kind of cases tend to be my favorite or the ones that I kind of gravitate to. So first we'll just show the ones for the mini that they sent us. So it's just a plastic back with a rubber bumper all the way around and then different colors. So what's cool about this is it shows your phone off, but it also still has corner drop protection. You can see like the air pocket holes in all the sides. Um, these are all for the mini. So again, I don't have the model for that, but we have a uh, clear with red which is probably gonna be the best looking one in my opinion I love red and black because you can kind of see the way that they mesh together they have an all clear which is always my one of my favorite options no matter what um, I love clear cases and this one also has the dot matrix to not cause that rainbow there's a purple with clear there is that like seafoam green with clear and then an all black, it has like a gray border on the inside with the clear. So those are all for the mini. And then they also sent me the same kind of thing for, let's see, some of these may be different, yeah. So we have the 12, line up for the 12, so same thing, clear, green, purple, red, black, all looking good. Let's try the clear this time. So same thing, it's just gonna come in, snap in, and it looks great because you can see your phone and what phone you purchase. Not that you need to show off the Apple logo, I don't mean that, I just, these pieces of tech are made so meticulously and they take so much time to make them look good and then we all just slap a case on them. Not that you shouldn't, but that you're taking away so much of the aesthetic that cases like this tend to help quite a bit because um, I like to look at the phone. So there's that, there's you know all these colors. We'll try the red because I like I said, I love red and black and that looks sick to me. It's my favorite combo usually is a red and black mixture. You can see by like the channel logo and stuff like that my watch. I like red and black, looks good together almost always. Um, so those are, those are the UB Edge. Or no, I'm sorry, those are the UB Style. These are all the UB Style with this border that comes down with that lip. I'll link all this down below, you'll see the whole page. Um, some of the cases they didn't send me, but obviously they sent me plenty. So those all have the dot matrix as well to keep from the rainbow happening. And then last but not least, we just have the same thing for 
the Max. So they have these, every case looks like they have all the styles for all the phones. So you'll be able to get whatever you want, whatever color you want, whatever style case you want. So again, um, thanks again to Supcase for sending these out. I just wanted to show them off real quick. And they, they sent me this many to kind of, like I said, be able to send out cases to you guys. So we'll try to do, I, I, obviously I can't just spend a ton of money shipping out things to everybody. So we'll figure out what to do. Just comment below. We'll see kind of how much traction this gets at all. Um, what Either what phone you got or what phone you plan on getting. And then we'll kind of try to work it out from there. I'll respond to some of you and see if I can get you some cases. Um, can't send these all out individually. So I'll probably end up sending you know, a few of you multiple cases so that you have a bunch of options. But yeah, I mean, that, that pretty much does it. They're uh, nice, affordable cases, and Subcase has always been a brand that I've really liked anyways, so I'm glad that they kind of keep partnering with the channel, and they've sent me out a couple of things, so um, show them some love when I, you know, post their info down below, and uh, I think that about does it for this one. So again, comment down below what you might want or what you might think you're going to get, and we'll we'll try to work something out, but as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.